Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Now, I've been asked a few times to make an install tutorial for my Wabajack Modlist Wasteland Genesis, which I am more than happy to do, and it's exactly what this video is all about. I'm gonna go over everything you need to be able to install and run my mod list. But you can also use this as a guide to install any manual mod list that uses Wabajack. The only difference will be the game and some of the non-Nexus files which you'll need to download. So let's jump right in then. Before you start the download, it's imperative that you have a legal copy of the game uh, that's related to the mod list that you're about to download. So we're doing Waste and Genesis. So you must have Fallout 4. Now this will be in a separate location where you're going to be downloading your mod list to. Uh, and it should be a completely vanilla, untouched uh, download. So they don't put any EMB in here. Don't put anything at all in this. Just download this off of... Um, steam and leave it there and leave it alone having said that you will also need the creation kit so make sure you got that downloaded off steam as well and uh installed it's imperative you have this because whoever jack needs to know that you've got a legal copy of the game uh, otherwise it's not going to work and do not i can't emphasize this enough do not put it in program files either your download from steam or your webject list do not put it in program files x86 if you've got one drive make a new folder for it um my game is on a different drive to where i'm installing to and that's absolutely fine it does not make any difference but you must have this legal copy of the game you're about to play now it's time to get on with installing the mod list so the first thing you want to do is go to my mod list itself wasteland genesis on nexus and once you're there then hop over to the files tab uh don't click on mod manager downloads um it's a manual download i'm not sure why i haven't disabled that but don't whatever you do mod manager download it the manual download and click on download. Now that's going to take a little bit of time to do. It's not the biggest of files, but it'll take a bit of time. And also, if you don't have Webberjack, click the Webberjack link. I'll take it here. Click on download and that'll download as well. Now, I've already got it installed. So, and as well as the uh, Wasteland Genesis mod pack. So, I'm going to put this into a separate location to show you exactly how to do it properly. So you are going to want to install this on an SSD. Now I've got two. I've got my C drive and my G drive. Uh, my son named it Sickest Yeet. <laughs> Don't ask me why. Um, I'm going to stick it on my G drive. As I said, it has to be an SSD. Uh, if it didn't have to be an SSD, I'd stick it on my two hard drives. Now you can see here I have Wasteland Genesis installed. Um, and this is my file for the output. So I'm going to create a folder. I suggest you do the same. Call yours Wasteland Genesis. I'm just going to call mine WG. And you may also want a Webberjack folder. So this is where you're going to I'm just going to slide this off screen okay so with the webberjack install your webberjack here double click it and this will install the, the application itself and sell the folders up once you've done that you're going to get the ui come up i'm going to close it for now we're going to come back to this in a sec now the wasteland genesis um, zip file Right click, 7 zip, 7 zip, 7 zip, extract it. Okay, you are gonna want this file here. So as you can see, I just extracted it. This is my extraction file. This is the file name, Wasteland Genesis 1.2.0, and you're gonna want the Wabberjack file. Now open your Wabberjack folder, and then double click on the executable. Now select get started. What you're gonna do is you're gonna install from disk, top right corner. Then you want to select the extracted file, the Wasteland Genesis extract file that you extracted earlier. And you want this Wabberjack here. Once you've done that, click on open and let it do its thing. It might take a few seconds. You should then get a picture that looks like this. Preparing to install Wasteland Genesis. You got an install button here. Uh, it will open up a readme, but we're just going to get on with the install now. What you want to do is, is tell it where to install to so set your target path i am going to go to this wg folder that i set before um, you can call it wasteland genesis and so set your folder there it will automatically set your default download location within the wg or wasteland genesis folder that you created earlier um, you can put that somewhere else um, it keeps it it's best if you don't just leave it where it is um, and never ever ever put this in your program files x86 or program files on your c drive always make another folder for it once you've done that click on install this will take the longest amount of time depending on 
your download speed. Now, there's two mods which you have to manually download. Uh, one's from Lovers Lab, which is this one here. Now, test out my editing skills going to this site, but this download will probably fail and we'll come back to that. So don't worry about that if it does, because you do have to sign in. And it's best to do that later when it gives you the next error. Uh, and the other one is miscellaneous hairstyles. This one we can do is a manual um, download. Only click on this download button here. Don't click on anything else on this website. Once you, and this will download it straight into your downloads folder for the Wasteland Genesis mod list that you're downloading. As I just click on that, nothing else, let it do its thing. Any pop-ups or anything else, just close them. And don't click on any of this other stuff. Literally close the windows. All you want to do is press on that blue download button. Now it's time to go and have a cup of tea or find something else to do depending on your download speed because we are now at the download, downloading all the mods. So yeah, go and find something to do, this can take a little while. Once the download has finished, you will get this error message come up saying download failed. Nothing to worry about, it's only the uh, manual files file that we didn't download earlier. So this is for the OCBP. Now it will give you a link to it. so. Uh, click on that and that will take you to Lovers Lab website which has got some not safe work images on it however it does take you directly to the download page if you don't have an account for Lovers Lab um, if you haven't signed in before you will need to sign up to make this download once you've done that though you need to click on OCBP 3.1.2 CBBE for my mod list once you've downloaded that go back to your Wasteland Genesis or WG folder and inside that is a downloads folder. This has got all of the mods that we've just downloaded in. All you have to do now is grab your OCBP download and drop it into the downloads folder. That's it, so you gotta do, close your window. And then click on the retry button and the error would have cleared itself. If you do get another error crop up, it'll possibly be for miscellaneous hairstyles. There is a link on my Discord if you need it, the same as there is a link, link for OCBP if you need that too for any reason. This next part is going to take it some considerable amount of time, so go and find yourself something else to do for a little while. Basically, it's going to extract all of the files you just downloaded and put them into a state where you can run the game through it. So yeah, go and find yourself something else to do. It's probably going to take an hour, maybe two, depending on uh, your system specs. If for any reason you have to stop the download or the install partway through, don't worry, Webberjack will pick up again exactly where it left off. Just close Webberjack if you need to, or if your computer shuts down or you get a power cut. Next time your computer comes back on, relaunch Webberjack, click on Get Started Again, Install from File, find your Webberjack mod list, and then Webberjack will pick up again exactly where it left off. It won't download mods again, so you won't duplicate those. I have to wait for that again. It won't reinstall mods it's already installed. It literally just carry on where it left off, so don't worry if you do have to take a break. Eventually you're going to see this lovely screen and you know that everything has been successful. Now all you've got to do is navigate to your Wasteland Genesis or WG folder that you created earlier. And then once you're in there, this is your game. So here's all your downloads. Everything you downloaded. Here's your mod organizer too. So you're going to want to open that. And basically once you're here, you're good to go. So run Wasteland Genesis. And once you're in here, Choose the F4 SC loader. Let's run. And yeah, you gotta make sure Steam is running as well. My model list has already got all the ENBs installed, so you haven't got to worry about that. And then voila, you are in the game. Press play and have some fun in the wasteland. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate it if you could give me a like. And if you don't subscribe to the channel, why not? But no, seriously, go ahead, subscribe. Thanks a lot, see you soon. Bye bye.